Hello Java developers, thanks for reading Java Magazine. In this article we will introduce Device IO API which allows us to access the GPIO pins from our single board computer including uh, digital pins, UART, I2C and SPI. This API is now part of OpenJDK and uh, is supported by Java ME Embedded and also by Java SE Embedded. So you can use this API with your Raspberry Pi for example uh, to blink LEDs, to play with relays, to read sensors, I2C sensors like accelerometers. And the good thing is that in the near future you will be able to write the code for GPIO using Raspberry Pi and then migrate to another single board computer like Udo board or Big O Bone Black or even smaller devices using uh, Java ME. This API is part of OpenJDK and is supported by Java ME Embedded and also Java SE Embedded. And since it is open source, we invite you to uh, check out the code, build, test and have fun. So now let's see some cool stuff for home automation, uh, Raspberry Pi, Relay Board and Device I.O. API. Now let's see the cool stuff for home automation uh, using uh, Raspberry Pi, this one is the Model B, and using a very simple and cheap Relay Board. So here what we have in terms of wires, we have the red one plugged into the 5 volt pin, the brown one into the ground and the yellow one in the pin number 18. So it's very simple, this is a, a two channel relays and we are just using one relay. So the pin number 18 will be controlling this relay. And since we have inside optical isolation, if I turn on the pin, it will turn off the relay. If I turn off the pin, it will turn on the relay. So the logic is kind of inverted. So we have the same thing running in this nice panel. We call it Home Automation Hacking Panel. And we have everything red uh, to see the code. So now let's check the code and see the running demonstration. So here we have our home automation class, which is a subclass of timer task, some instance variables, our constructor and the main method that will parse the arguments and will uh, call the home automation constructor. And we also have here a shutdown hook, which will call the shutdown method and close the communication with our pin number 18 in this case. After doing that, it will call the instance.loop. In, uh, inside our constructor, we are just storing the, the variables in our instance and opening the communication with the pin, the desired pin number and scheduling the timer uh, based on the arguments. And once it triggered the, the, the timer task trigger, the, the, the timeout, and we have the run method, that will just turn on the relay by calling set value false once it is inverted and it will sleep for the period desired period and so turn it off so it's very simple but useful example using device io api timer task and uh, some uh, tricks here for having the right shutdown process so that's it. As you can see, we are running the code each 10 seconds to turn on for two seconds the relay and turn off. So that's the running example of the home automation the device I.O. example. That's it. Thanks a lot for reading our article, watching our video, and hope you have fun with Device.io API, and see you in the next article.